Assalamualaikum, my name is Siti Zulaikha and I'm from 4SKE. My final year project is the coordination of the overcurrent relay with different types of topology in the distribution system. In this video, we, video will show you how to simulate the coordination of the IDMT overcurrent relay in the radio system. First of all, we must know the details which is the parameters in the one line diagram which is the power grid, transformer, load and line. From the given parameter, we will develop the one line diagram in ETAP by using the library tools given at the right corner at the edit mode. Next, in the load flow mode, we will run the load flow to obtain the full load current at each line. The full load current result also can be obtained at the bus loading summary to get the report. For the short circuit analysis, we will run in the short circuit mode to obtain the fault current for the line to ground fault. In this section, we must choose the fault location first. And then run the three phase device DT condition to obtain the fault current. Next, after the simulation of the full load current, fault current, we must obtain the CT ratio value, which is this value must be chosen greater than the maximum current of the full load current. This value must be chosen properly to ensure that the relay can sense the fault current by the CT ratio and then to avoid the continuous DT. Next, this is the calculation of the IDMT relay setting which I choose to simulate in the MATLAB for the easier and user-friendly approach. So here we got the plug setting, relay setting current, plug setting multiplier, Relay characteristic operating time, relay operating time, time setting multiplier, and also the backup formula. Backup relay formula. Therefore, user just need to insert the discrimination time, full load current, CT ratio, fault current, and the time setting multiplier. After substitute all these values in MATLAB, we can obtain the relay operating time and also the plug setting and time setting multiplier, which is this plug setting and TSM value will be used to set up the relay setting in ETAP. For the relay setting, the input is come from the CT ratio, meanwhile the output is to the circuit breaker. Time dial is follow the time setting multiplier meanwhile the pickup is follow the plug setting. Now I will run the star protection and coordination to run the fault condition to analyze the coordination of the IDMT over current relay as calculated in previous. As we can see here, if the fault occur at bus 1, the closest relay which is the relay 1 will trip first and then followed by the relay 3 if the circuit breaker 1 fail to open. In order to get a correct relay tripping sequence, the discrimination time is set as 0.4 second. Here, we also can see that if the relay location is far from the fault location, the relay operating time will be higher compared to the closest relay. Besides, we also can obtain the time current characteristic by choosing the relay and then click on the create a star view. From this graph, it's easier to analyze the time current characteristic for the relay operating time at the standard inverse. Lastly, 
this process will be repeated for the ring and interconnected distribution to obtain the coordination of the IDMT over car relay.